guys, welcome back to another video. I'm at Irif with my friend Debbie, if you met in another video before. And we're just doing a quick video of the braid technique. I've got a video of the braid technique, what I did on my own locks. So if you click above, you'll be able to watch that. So I thought I would introduce Debbie. And hey, I started doing her locks. Bend down. I've started retwisting a lot, so I thought I'd just see, show you the braid technique. And this is Ethan. Ethan. This is Ethan. Say hello, Ethan. Say hi. This is Ethan. If you watched my last video, I was babysitting Ethan because his mum's just had, and mum and dad have just had a new baby. You've got a little sister, haven't you, Ethan? Oh, baby. Baby sister. He's been distracted by the TV at the moment, so. Yeah, he's like baby sister. TV. Yeah. yeah, TV. So anyway, we're going to get cracking and show you the braid technique. So guys, bear with us because it's quite dark at the moment. Um, so I'm trying to use the outside light so you can see. So as you can see with Debbie's hair, I'm going to spray it down with some water. Sorry, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No, no. It's so as you can see, guys, bend down there. Can you see these strands of hair here? That has come away from the lock. I hope you can see. Go closer then. <laughs> <laughs> this is out like outtakes, isn't it? Isn't it? So listen. So this is the the hair, what has come away from this lock. Mm -hmm. You have to put him down there. Yeah. So basically, what I'm gonna do. I don't normally use gels, as you well know, but because this one is complaining that her hair doesn't stay in, which is always the case, <laughs> she just complains it doesn't stay in, so I've decided to use this Cantu gel. But it could be my texture, one would have to say. Yeah, it's a water-based gel and it's quite nice. It's not too harsh, it's not drying. So I'm gonna try this on, in her hair and she's gonna tell me if it holds it any better. Okay. And because her hair is so light, and the texture's so soft, that's why it sort of fleeces out, doesn't last as long as one would want. So, basically, get the two hairs. I might have to stand up on the chair, guys, so just bear with me one second. Mm. Bend your head down, go to squat down a bit. So what I do is comb the pieces together and you basically split it into three parts. So watch it before, and then I'm gonna braid it. Bend your head to me then. Hope you can see this guys. So I'm literally braiding the loose hairs back around the lock. Can you see? I've braided the loose hairs back into the lock. And then, a bit of water, tiny, tiny bit of gel. Look, literally nothing on my face. So, as you saw from that one, what I did, that's the one I braided. Go close to them. This is the one where I braided and then I just retwist that one and I'll show you one more time how I braid it. Bend your head to me. Practically. Just do it like a normal braid. Keep your head still there. And voila, see? Bend down there. All the hairs are in place. 
so that will grow with the lock. So I'll just finish off by where is it? <laughs> so I found which one. <laughs> So basically, once you've braided it, you just retwist it. No, no, you just retwist it as normal. This will bend down, Deb. So I just palm roll in it. Oh my gosh, there's a moth on the light. It's okay. I'm not doing you any harm. So basically, guys, it's all done. This is another a small lot what I started for Debs. How did that one? I, I, think it just pushed, I think it just pushed out, but I mean, you've been um, plaiting that and then now it doesn't need plaiting anymore, does it? Like, yeah. You just retwist. So we just retwist it and we just kind of leave it to form on its own. So if you get like a, a lock what just comes off and it's like, it keeps coming out and you, even if you do the braid technique, it doesn't work. Just leave it and just start a new lock. Yeah. No point forcing it, is there? Yeah. Even if it's in the front, you may as well just start it off again. Mm-hmm rather than trying to twist it in. So Debs, you're all done. Okay, and then we'll show you what it looks so we'll like show you the, it's dry. We'll take the clips out and it's dry, we'll show you the after the fact. So Yay. stay tuned. So guys, we're back after the finished look. Come closer, Deb. Come closer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be shy. I'm oh, not, it's okay. So That's the feet. finished look, bend down. All right. It's all done. You can see all the hairs. <laughs> <laughs> or in place. Okay, okay, I hear so Debs, you. So, why do you think the braid techniques works for your hair? Well, as I said before, my hair's quite fine, and uh, normally I'm always complaining that uh, the hair frays out too quickly. So, braiding the hair keeps it neater for longer, and that's mm. the the look I prefer. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I, I love it. Yeah, and I, I prefer the braid technique than the interlocking because I used to get, yes. remember I used to have the interlock before? Yes. And I didn't like the interlocking. I didn't mind it, but it creates more bumps in the hair. So this is a much smoother finish. Mm. So yeah, I, I would recommend it. Yeah, most definitely. definitely. So if you want your locks, if you want that more together look of your locks, um, just use the braid technique. It works. Oh, sorry. Come on then, E. It works. I even did the braid technique on my locks the other day and it's still in. Only on a couple of them, not all of them have um, come fleeced off. But um, yeah, we love the braid technique that we're there. We do, we do indeed. And uh, hopefully you guys will love it too. If you can get a technician, a nail, nail, <laughs> nail. <laughs> a hair technician to do your hair. So. I would definitely recommend the braid technique if you want your hair to look neater for a little bit longer. Um, as as Maz Triple Seven says, when you uh, interlock the hair, there tends to be some kind of damage as it's going through. But this is much safer, and um, I'm happy. So yeah, Ethan, do you like Granny's hair? It's lovely. Yeah. Isn't it, Ethan? Is it nice? Does it look nice? I think, I think that's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment down below if you've got any comments about the braid technique or any other comments. Or if you want me to do any other videos, suggestions, then just put it down below. And that's it. Till next time. So stay blessed. Stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you for watching bye, bye.